Hi, this is Peter from Joomla. Today we're going to be talking about the T3 version 3 framework for Joomla. This is a two-part video series about layouts. The first video will be about layout configuration and the second one is about layout customization. So let's start with the layout. There are three parts in this tutorial. One, layout overview. Two, layout configuration. And three, exploring layout files. Okay, now let's check out the layout overview. Each layout is built up from multiple blocks. One block can contain one or many module positions. The customization can be operated from any level, layout, or block. The layout is very flexible. You can change from three columns to two or full width. The base width elements are from 1 to 12, and this can be configured depending on each layout. We can go with combinations of 363, 84, or simply 12. It's up to you. Okay, now we're going to move on to layout configuration. First, we're going to go to Template Manager. This is under Extensions at the top of your screen. We're going to choose a template. In this tutorial, we're going to use JA Midas template. Okay, now let's go to the Layout tab. Let's scroll down. Here's a list of all of the layouts on the site. Select a layout for the Home menu. There are two parts to this layout customization, the Module Position and the Responsive Layout. We're going to start with the Module Position. The module position allows you to change the structure of the layout. You can change any module position that you want. For the spotlight block, you can set the number of positions to assign to any module position. If you don't want to publish any position in the front page, just assign to none. Always remember to save your settings. When saved, go to the top of the screen and see in the green bar, Style Successfully Saved. The Reset Positions button allows you to reset the Module Position tab to default settings, while Reset All will reset all settings in the layout, including the Responsive Layout setting. So let's check in the front. Okay, the front end looks pretty good. Just in case, we can save the layout in case we make any changes that we want to come back to. So we're going to name this example Default Cloned. Let's save. So we're going to move to Responsive Layout at the top of the screen to the right of Module Positions. Here are the supported layouts. There are five layouts, and you can configure the theme one by one. Wide, Normal, X-Tablet, Tablet, or Mobile. Okay, let's try X-Tablet Layout. It's the layout for iPads. We can disable any position in the layout simply with one click of the mouse. We can resize the positions inside any spotlight block. Just drag and drop. We have a base of 12. We can disable the positions that may not be displayed well in the layout. Okay, let's check the front end, the X tablet or iPad. You can see here, the front end page is displayed absolutely with what we just configured. The last part in this tutorial is exploring layout files. Each layout has a separate PHP file. The files are located in template, then the template name, then TPLS. We have six layouts by default and one clone layout, so we have a total of seven layouts. And here are seven PHP files. Please note that our settings in the backend for layout are not saved to PHP files. They are saved to INI files. The INI files are located in template, then the template name, then etc, and layout. As you can note, 
Only layouts that have been changed here will have an INI file. The files also include the change settings. We can actually change the settings of the layouts from this file, but we generally don't recommend that for users. Let's give an example. In the first position of block 1, spotlight 1, we can change that. We can set the default width span 6 to span 12. Now we go back to our layout settings panel and refresh. And we see that it's changed in the back end successfully. You see that position minus 2 has been changed to minus 1. And the span has gone from 6 to 12. Remember to stay tuned for the second part of this video. This is one of many videos for the T3 version 3 framework.